Hi, my name is Sarish Sudhakran and in this video, I'll help you understand what aspect ratio is and how you should pick one when you're getting started. First of all, if you don't know about sensor sizes, you might want to watch that video first on my channel. I'll link to it in the description. A sensor has a length and a breadth, and the length divided by the breadth is the aspect ratio. It's always horizontal divided by vertical. For example, let's take the number 1.33. It means the horizontal length divided by the vertical breadth is 1.33. To make reading easier, sometimes we write 4 is to 3. 4 by 3 is 1.33, it's the same thing. You try to pick the number that's easier to remember. So what are the common aspect ratios? They're 16 by 9. This is the aspect ratio for high definition and ultra high definition TV. The standard YouTube box is also fixed to this aspect ratio. For cinema, they have two standards of their own. There's 1.85 is to 1. It's not easy to remember, I know. Just let's call it the spherical format for now. And don't worry about the name. The other number you probably heard about, and that's anamorphic, or 2.39 is to 1. I have a whole article on the actual aspect ratio of the anamorphic format, so if you're into that, you might want to read that article. Lastly, for still photography shooters, you have 4 is to 3, which we've already seen, and 3 is to 2 or 1.5, which is a standard size of photography-based sensors today. So which is the best aspect ratio? That's like asking which is the best window size, or which is the best computer monitor screen or mobile screen size. Nobody knows. Join the club. But not all is lost. You do have to pick an aspect ratio when you're starting out. So there are two things you can use as a guide. First, who is going to see your work? If you're making videos for YouTube, you can stick to 16 by 9. Nobody will complain. If you're making videos for cinema, you might want to pick one of the cinema aspect ratios. If you're shooting stills, where is your photo going to be published? If it's on the web, then will it be seen on a mobile phone or computer monitor or tablet or all of them? If yes, then 3 to 2 is a good starting place. If you're being published in a magazine, 3 to 2 is a good starting place. Bottom line, 3 to 2 is always a good starting place for photography, period. But things are not that simple. You'll also have personal feelings about it. For cinema, do you pick 1.85 or 2.39? You'll have a personal preference. Similarly, for photography, even though 3 to 2 is the most common, you might prefer 4x3 or even the square format. So pick the camera that will allow you to shoot in the aspect ratio you like. If you can't find such a camera, then pick the camera that will allow you to crop one of the sides so you get the aspect ratio you want. Anyways, try to pick a camera that comes closest and gives you the least wastage when you crop. That's all there is to it. What are my favorites? I like 2 is to 1 for video, proposed by Vittorio Storaro. Haven't heard of him? What about House of Cards on Netflix? That's displayed on the 2 is to 1 aspect ratio. For photography, I prefer 4 is to 3. How did I know I liked these? I just shot and shot and shot and then realized one day that these were the ones I picked the most. And that's a good strategy for you to follow as well. If you don't know what you like yet, start somewhere and see where it takes you. Who knows? If you like this video and you want more free stuff, please visit the link you'll find somewhere on this video. Unfortunately, YouTube moves around the link uh, often, so I don't know where it's going to be, but you'll find the link in the description below. And please don't forget to subscribe because there are more videos coming. Bye now.